um, welcome to my channel why wimp today so this is my very first uh, video in the youtube and i'm you know talking about small motivation regarding how to deal with the pro procrastination putting off a school assignment delaying a work project or even avoiding that workout we've all been there but what exactly is procrastination and why we do it so procrastination is an act of delaying or postponing task it's not just about being lazy it's a complex behavior influenced by various factors like fear or failure perfectionism and even our brain chemistry so when we procrastinate we are choosing short-term pleasure over long-term goals often leading to stress anxiety and a mad rush to meet deadlines so when talking about short-term pleasures we love to see social media despite utilizing that time to build our skills increase our knowledge reading books something like that so it will help in the long run but we are just focusing on the short-term dopamine effect that comes through social media so our brains play a big role in this the limbic system which controls our pleasure and emotional responses often overrides the prefrontal cortex the part responsible for planning and decision making this internal tug of war can make it difficult to get started on task so but don't worry i'm going to talk about how we can get rid of this and how we can improve ourselves when it comes to improving our procrastination habit and we'll explore some strategies cycle and boost your productivity so let, let's get started now so I, I have like five ways on how to stop procrastination so the first one would be breaking larger task let's say small example here that sounds a lot right like a cleaning the entire house but if you break it down into smaller steps it's more manageable so this is how you can do it this is how you can start to clean your house start with the living room pick up any clutter, clutter and dust the surfaces so if you pick the clutter from the house the big clutters then you feel like oh something has been done and dust the surfaces the second one, move to the kitchen, wash the dishes and wipe down the counters. Because when you wash the dishes, they lose the big job. So when you finish the big job first, then you feel a little bit more better and you can start with the other, other ones. Tidy the bedrooms, make the beds and put away the clothes. So bedroom, if you make your bed, so it looks like a big task. But can finish that in like five to ten minutes and you feel better and you get inspired to do the other jobs so clean the bus bathroom scrub the sink toilet and shower so this way you can just break down the task do one task at a time you start with the living room and then go to kitchen go to your bedroom and then toilet and diet so so when you think about it it looks like a big job but when you start doing that one by one step by step then you will finish that in time so the next one would be you can use the time on your task without interruption this is called the Pomodoro technique for example if you are studying focus solely on that 25 minutes then take it five minutes take a five minute break this method helps keep you focused and make daunting tasks seem shorter so this is a very scientific technique so after you focus on one thing 
for example if you have to read a book focus 25 minutes in the beginning and take five minutes break after you read uh, like five times doing that then you can take more longer breaks so that would help keep you focused and you can remember that you know uh, that book longer so this is a scientific technique and i love this technique the other one is eliminate distractions so this is the major issue here in this part of the century that people are like spending so much time on social media scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and you didn't even know you lost your whole day and you later on realize that oh, my day is gone so this happened to me as well a couple of times so when you keep scrolling the social media especially tiktok the short videos then you didn't even realize that your whole day is gone the whole day is wasted so there is nothing like that uh, if you eliminate those distractions. If you need to write report, turn off your phone notification and find a quiet place to work. By removing these interruptions, you can concentrate better and get your work done very faster. So you can eliminate those distractions. The main distraction could be social media, your phone, like Facebook notifications and that sort of stuff. The fourth one is reward yourself. After completing a task, treat yourself to something you enjoy. For example, you read your book, reward yourself with getting a cup of coffee, like a short walk, and a short walk, or a favorite snack, or a few minutes of a fun, fun video. After that, you can watch a fun video, so that will make you happy. So instead of scrolling, scrolling and scrolling the phone for like 2-3 hours, what you can do is, if you finish reading a book, so you can reward yourself by watching a short 2 minute video, that would, would be a reward instead of, you know, time waster. For example, after finish a cha chapter of your textbook, take a 10 minutes break to watch a fun video. And the fifth one is set deadlines. So it's like setting an up the time time frame like deadlines. So people I find this very interesting because people if you have any deadlines or if you gonna miss on something really you know big then you gonna do that job otherwise if you don't have any fixed deadline or any that particular you know uh, reason to f uh, finish that job you're never gonna do that so setting deadline if I'm, even if a task doesn't have a strict deadline give yourself one for is for example if you need to organize your files set a deadline for the end of the day having a specific time frame can create a sense of urgency and help you stay on track so these are the five simple steps to stop procrastination but I just want to add one more thing here. So the breaking down these steps one by one makes your task simple and uh, the other one thing I would like to add is like prioritize. So prioritize your task. Which one is your first priority and which one is the last one. If that's the first priority, finish that one first. So the priority could be depending on the short term and long term goals. If it's short term and if it's like uh, important, do it now. And if you have to make a decision and it's very important, schedule that. Take some time, work on it and just make a decision. And if it's not that important, you can delegate that task other person the third party so you can save that time and do the important task and the other one is if it's not important at all delete that task and focus on the prioritization focus on your top priorities task 
so that would help you achieve your goal in shorter amount of time and you don't have you don't have to regret spending time on social media and that would make your life easier and happier so this is the end of this video and please do comment and anything you want to add uh, in terms of procrastination just add what you need to do uh, in order to stop procrastination